Papino, and welcome to Fit For You, the show that teaches you how to live a healthier and more fit lifestyle. Today, we're going to be talking about pizza. And so many people think you can eat pizza on a healthy and fit diet. Well, you can. And the best place to go, the people that have the freshest ingredients, the healthiest crust, is a brand new pizza concept called Rise Pie. And Rise has a special place in my heart because it was founded by my nephew, Eddie Moransky. Today we're gonna take you through, make a fabulous pizza, tell you how Rise started, and get you really excited about trying their new concept. Welcome to Fit For You. It's with great pleasure I introduce to you my nephew, who's very near and dear to my heart, the president and one of the founders of the latest, most phenomenal pizza concepts, Rise Pies, my nephew, Eddie Moransky. Welcome, Eddie. Thank you. Good to be here. And you're going to hear me refer to Eddie as Tiny, because Tiny has been your nickname for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And as we talk about your youth, when you were six years old, your passion for pizza started to surface. What happened when you were six? Well, my great dream was to become uh, a pizza delivery man. You so loved. It's 24 years later in a roundabout way, but here we are. And that's fantastic. And as you were growing up through the years, and I remember when you were 16 and able to drive, lunch was always... Oh yeah, any you know, any time I could get it, and you know, I, I just I'm a firm believer that uh, to do something well, you have to be passionate about it, and so I'm very happy that I'm, I could be in this field. It's fantastic, and you started out though not in the food business. You started out going to college, Michigan Business School. Yep, I'm an attorney by trade and um, worked in that field for, but I always had my eye on some entrepreneurial down the line, and um, I'm just very lucky that this opportunity presented itself. Uh, to partner with Vernon and uh, Eddie Moses to, to go in on this pizza concept because I know pizza, but they really know pizza, uh, you know, from the restaurant side. Well, I think that's something really unique that you bring to the table. And when we talk about Vernon coming into the picture, because you're the business side of Rise, and Vernon is the restauranteer part. You yeah, know, he brings and that. They're, they're, they they really help on the business side too. But yeah, it's a good marriage of uh, skills. It's fantastic. What made you decide I want to do pizza? Uh, you know, we're a franchisee for Annie Ann's Pretzels, and uh, for years we looked for a complimentary food concept. And, you know, pizza always intrigued me, but um, our company was very diligent through the years. We had a lot of franchise opportunities that just weren't as good as Annie Ann's. So, but finally, this pizza concept uh, really is becoming the next big wave in fast casual dining. And we, we looked at a couple other franchise concepts similar to this, and uh, we just thought the pizza around here, specifically Vernon's down at V Square, was better. So we thought, why not do it ourselves? You talk about the new pizza concept. What is it? It's just a fast casual model, uh, similar to a Chipotle, where you go in, uh, you know, kind of pick your own ingredients, go down the line, and all your food's ready in a short amount of time. And now that's going to take us to the health, healthy angle that I find so interesting because my experience is here and truly and naturally I have a passion because it's you but the pizza is fantastic mm -hmm. and bringing Vernon into the picture I think made it very unique because our area is very particular and has a lot of really great homemade pizzas mm -hmm. that you can get so just creating a franchise from scratch without having that really strong pizza experience of where you're in an area where the competition is really tough, I think gives you a really big edge. Oh yeah, and we think that, you know, other than V squared, there really isn't much around here that does the same kind of pizza we do. And I, I think we have the best pizza in the country around here, but more, a lot of it's on the thicker side. So, you know, uh, your typical great pan pizza, which I like and I still have on a regular basis, but ours is a little different than that. Ours, it's a hotter oven, it's a thinner pizza, more of a New York style. So, so we think we have a nice niche there. Well, and let's talk about the thinner pizza because you have a thinner crust, which means it cooks quicker, mm -hmm. but it's also less calories. Yeah, yeah, you, you see, our, you know, not very greasy. It's, you know, yeah. like, that, like I said, the Neapolitan New York type of style. That, Much um, lighter fare. And we're going to be making pizza we in are, a yes. while. Mm -hmm. Three types of crust. What are they? Yeah, they are just a classic, uh, classic white crust, uh, a whole wheat crust made with a little bit of honey and a gluten free crust. And they are the gluten free and the uh, honey uh, wheat. Delicious. Yeah, both very good. You hardly even notice the uh, drug. We've tried all of them, but we, you know, to really hone the product, we tried several different versions of the gluten-free and uh, settled on this one, and we like it. And gluten-free is a tough one to master. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of sensitive dining sense. You know, you have to cook it on a separate Teflon pan and stuff like that. Because you know, a lot of people have very strict diets or sensitivities to flour or whatever. So we have a separate spoon for the sauce that we use for the gluten-free and all that kind of stuff. And that's really important to people that want to keep it, your, or, or you know, really particular about about that aspect of their diet. Yeah, I, I, our key here is we don't want to exclude anybody. If a family wants to come in and mom eats gluten-free, but dad wants a three-meat pizza, and the kids just want a plain cheese, everybody could come and be happy. Well, the, and the thing about rice is it's an experience. And you bring up the family angle, which I think is great, too, because it's very hard to find a place to take children, especially if it's a little more on the, you know, fine dining side where they're going to sit and enjoy. So this way, they get to go through the line, make their pizza. Mm -hmm. And for a family, it's very, the costs are very, very reasonable. Let's talk about, you know, your quality pricing for a minute, because I think... Yeah. You did a lot of work on that angle. Yeah, you know, we wanted to keep it affordable, and um, yeah, that's the good thing with a fast casual model. Uh, you're serving a lot more people, so you could drop the price a little bit compared to what you'd have at a sit-down restaurant where somebody's there for an hour, and you know that you get those overhead costs associated with it. So we start at $4.99 for a simple cheese pizza, and we max out at $8.95 for unlimited toppings for a 10-inch pizza, which is a perfect size for maybe even a little big for one, uh, most people, but a good personal size. And then you have salads. We do, yeah. We have uh, four different salads that uh, we make fresh daily, and we have... Um, Several. We have a Coke machine that uh, with 150 different drink options, and we have Vernon's great uh, meatballs. And when we talk about the salads, that's another you know from the healthy option. That's a great addition. You have a light white balsamic, not a light, but it's it's a light dressing by yeah, not, you know, not, not cream based cream. or anything. Yeah, delicious white balsamic dressing. Yep, and our Caesar dressing is a similar. Not uh, you know on, uh, Caesar's not great for you, but you know on the on the. On the relative scale, it's not so bad, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, good. The arugula salad. Yeah, with the that fresh white arugula. balsamics on that one. That's probably my favorite. Yes, and then you take that concept with the fresh arugula. I love the pizza coming out of the oven, which I think you're going to make later. It's called the... The L.A. Showtime, named after uh, Magic Johnson and his great teams of the 80s in L.A. I've, and uh, it's basically a salad pizza hybrid, so we, we, ba we bake a blank pizza shell and then add uh, arugula, olive oil, balsamic, uh, fresh prosciutto and uh, Parmesan, uh, shaved Parmesan cheese. And you cheese. can get it with or without the put soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, and when it comes out, it looks like this phenomenal salad on this very, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And delicious, I might add, mm -hmm. needless to say. Um, a, a touch of Eddie Moransky. So we have it named after, you know, the L.A. special because yeah. you're a sports a sportsaholic. Mm -hmm. And um, and you play great music. When I came in, you know, it's very upbeat and motivating, yes. which, you know, when you're a little bit down, it's very important, you know, that you can go somewhere, especially if you're having a stressful day or a stressful morning, you want to go get a nice lunch. When you walk into Rise, it's very upbeat. Yeah, it, it's, we play the 80s channel from uh, the satellite radio, and, um, and that's my favorite kind of music. But just in general, it, like you said, it's an upbeat channel, and it kind of touches on a little bit of everything from the era. So there's a little bit of rock, pop, everything, and uh, so I think it, com it contributes to kind of an upbeat atmosphere here. Yeah, and it kind of brings in the fact that, you know, you're known for your 80s parties over the yes. years. So it's, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. And then the Vernon Meatball. Let's yes. talk about that because it's such a popular item. Yeah, modeled ba uh, on uh, his uh, his entree or his uh, meatballs at his restaurant, Vernon's Cafe Inn at V Square downtown. And we uh, we simmer them in a crock pot here all day. And you could get the meatballs just by themselves with ricotta and, and hot peppers if you like, or we on the meatball salad. Uh, we have a large chopped salad and uh, just put two meatballs on it. And from the healthy angle, I want to touch upon the quality. I can't. I don't want to give away the secrets. I don't think. I I know all the secrets, but I know a little bit um, about, you know, what goes in. And the quality of the meats that are used are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That's really important. Yep. Because when you're doing casual dining, sometimes in order to save a little bit on food costs, people will pick maybe a little lesser quality of meat or whatever, and that's not the business yeah, model that's, here. Yeah, you know, we wanted to go for high quality ingredients. And you'll notice our prices are a little bit higher than some of our competitors to reflect that fact, but still reasonable. But we, uh, you'll see, they might be doing it right now, but we bake uh, fresh chicken breast several times a day and dice them, white meat chicken a breast. Yes, yeah. very. That roasted uh, all natural chicken. And then Vernon's meatballs, Giarusa does a great job for us. Uh, they bring those in and uh, with Vernon's recipe. And, um, yeah. and cheeses, if I'm vegetarian, yeah, we and have a I vegan cheese mm -hmm. that um, uh, it's it's pretty it's uh, you know a little bit of an upcharge, but uh, it's available for you and it's actually pretty good. I've I didn't 
on the scale. I'm not, I loved it. I'm not much of a vegan, that. but I tasted it and it, it didn't, <laughs> didn't taste too bad. So Yeah. And I'll tell you, seven cheeses to pick from and a cup. We yeah. have the vegan mozzarella. Yeah, we have fresh mozzarella and, um, and the uh, traditional shredded mozzarella, cheddar, uh, feta, goat cheese, and a couple others. Yeah, and for people who haven't tried the fresh mozzarella, I strongly recommend it because and it's you know, mozzarella is naturally part skim milk, mm -hmm. so it's on the lower fat side of things, and it's so creamy and delicious. Yeah. And the ricotta melts in your mouth. Oh, right, yeah, ricotta too. Yep, vegetables. Talk yeah, we, uh, we prepare a few of them in-house every day, and, uh, but they're all you know, very high quality uh, coming in. The, we chop uh, red peppers and hot peppers every day and uh, season them right back there. And uh, we'll go through the line, but yeah, just I think it's like 13 different vegetable options to pick from. Uh, we we'll bake uh, onions in the uh, oven every day. And those so, yeah. that come in are fresh frozen. Yes. They're mm -hmm. not processed or No, 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 no. Or... Yeah, all fresh frozen. So everything is to die yeah. for. Delicious. Which, you know, you'd like to prepare everything in-house, but that's just not practical sometimes. And, but uh, like you said, very high quality, even on the frozen side. Let's talk about your equipment a little bit, because it's unique to what you may find in... in many places. You're, you've actually imported some of your equipment from Italy. Yeah, uh, Univex who um, makes them, that's, they're an American company that they acquired several Italian companies so you'll see when we go back there our dough press is, uh, was made in Italy, our, our prosciutto slicer was made in Italy so uh, yeah very high and our wood stone oven really the centerpiece of the restaurant is um, they're out of Seattle but uh, really we think the best pizza oven in the country. And it's interesting because those types of things make you if you have the quality ingredient and you don't have the quality equipment to process it for the final product it does make a huge difference like you're preserved yeah. this slice so perfectly for yep. example especially the volume that we you know that we do you, your equipment has to be top notch mm -hmm. talk about the dough a little bit because like you said made fresh every yeah, day yeah right back there we make it uh, several times a day mm -hmm. and uh, all made fresh back there and uh, hand cut hand rolled mm -hmm. and both uh, and right back there that's and because we think the dough really makes the pizza, so yeah, you could taste that ours is, is fresh. Mm -hmm. The and why well, I was so amazed because even though there's quite a line usually, the when I was checking out, by the time I paid, my pizza was ready to go. Yeah, but like I said, because it's a thinner pizza and uh, the oven cooks around 600 degrees, so the pizza's generally done in about two minutes and 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. another, That's our slogan. Another personal touch: hand cut. You actually hand cut. Hand your cut. pizzas. Don't you hand slice your pizzas? We do, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, it's not a machine that just comes out and oh, no, no, chops no, no. them off. And like, and like you said, for the showtime that we talked about, that's all uh, prepared right back there at our expediting station. And uh, yeah, handmade it was really what we wanted to go for here. The architecture, the ambiance, I know a lot went into, went into that. How long did it take you to design your Several months. We work with a great, uh, two great architects out of a, one in Cleveland, one here in Youngstown, that uh, really wanted to go for, like we talked about, just an upbeat space that uh, everybody can be happy at. You know, some, some fast casual places uh, cater too much to teens or too much to older people. We wanted to just be a place that everybody can come uh, and enjoy themselves. So. And you know what makes it nice? If people want to come in and eat by themselves, sometimes you don't want to sit at a table and eat by yourself. Yeah, they could sit right where we are here at our bar seating if you want a quick lunch. Right. Or we have, you know, our banquet could fit a table of up to eight to ten people. So. And what about, I think you could even fit more if we push yeah. them together. Mm -hmm. What about um, if we want takeout? If you want takeout, yes. Uh, we're, we're in the process of rolling out an express line, but that's probably two or three months down the line. But takeout, you come right in, and um, we have our boxes, and uh, you could just... Uh, Take them and leave right back to your, or if you want to call ahead, like, in fact, your office has done this. They, um, oh, yeah. If you want 20 pizzas, give us like 20 minutes or a half hour's notice and we'll have them all ready for you. Um, I love your tagline. You want to tell us what it is? It is uh, need it, bake it, love it. And need it with the K -N -E -A -D. K, yes. N E A D. Yeah, it's Great. a pun. Oh, I love it, love it. <laughs> What are you gonna, so where are you going from here? Where's the next up, next one opening? We're opening in a Sarasota, Florida at a brand new mall down there on October 16th, which we're excited about, and then uh, looking to open in the spring in an area that you might like, uh, Tampa, Florida, and a, a mall there. Very exciting. Yeah. And you have, went to college there, kind of heading back yeah. there. Yeah, you went to, oh, that, you went to high school. Oh, yeah, and you went I to went college, to college yeah, yeah. there, mm -hmm. so yeah, we, we have a little tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, beer and wine? Yeah, that, it's coming in the spring here. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a long process to get here. You have to get on the ballot and everything, and we can't do that till the spring. But uh, we will offer beer and uh, single serve wine eventually. 
Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to I want to get back there and look at this fabulous equipment and uh, make a pizza. Okay, sounds good. All right. Eddie, show us. This is the prosciutto press. Yes. Made in Italy. It's our fresh prosciutto slicer. Slice it fresh every day. It's beautiful. Yeah, and I know prosciutto is not the healthiest thing, but you know we have the freshest offerings and like I said for the Showtime pizza a little bit or a salad a little bit goes a long way. Well, it's a good way to if you want just a little bit of meat but not much it's a, a real sharp taste. So it, it, uh, it is and you know when you talk about the healthier option having the freshest purest ingredients that's healthy so if you're like you say having this you know adding it to your diet isn't necessarily bad as long as you keep it to the highest of quality and you don't, you know, you keep it in moderation. Right. And then I want to show your dough press and Kevin. Yeah, one of our fearless managers manager. here, yes. Hi, Kev. So this is our, like I said, Univex dough press made in Italy. And, um, you know, hand stretching a pizza is good too, but, you know, for our speed purposes, we have to have something like this. But this does just, just as good of a job and as you can hand stretching. Kevin's going to walk us through. Yeah. Shall we take show a whole crust? Show you how easy crust? it is. Yeah. So you take it right there. So there's your homemade dough. Yep. We'll let it ferment for 24 hours to, for optimum taste. Oh, I bit. didn't know that. Uh-huh. Now, he's putting it into a little bit of flour. A little bit of flour, yep. And the thing I love about your pizzas, too, now it's going onto the press. It's going to go from that press to a dough board. There's no grease in a pan. No. There's no additional oils added at this or anything. point. Nope. So it's fabulous. How fast? Just like that. Now we have a beautiful crust, a little semolina on the pizza pad, and the wooden pads. Yes. Are, are, I find them interesting. They have a Kev, little rise logo them. on there. I love them. But it's interesting that you can put a wooden pad into a 600 degree Yeah, oven. and that's where the semolina helps, that uh, it helps it slide right off of there. So okay. you can see, so you start with our sauces here. And tell us what the different sauces are. This is California plum tomato. We make it right back there. Fresh California plum tomatoes uh, with a little bit of seasoning, or we have our Diablo sauce where we add a little bit of pepper seed to it. Uh, for it's not it's spicy but not too bad. It's a nice little kick. And like I said, for the gluten free, this is a, a separate spoon. So because you know if you have a real gluten sensitivity, the spoon can't touch the uh, the pizza shell like it does for those. And, and when you, we talk about toppings, the cheese and the sauce are not included as additional. If you talk about no, adding no, two, like three, I said, five. a cheese pizza comes with a dough, a cheese, and a sauce, and then the uh, additional toppings go from there. And the tomato sauce is very nutritious, and I want to comment. It gives you a lot of vitamins and minerals. And tomato cooked tomatoes are very, very good, especially for gentlemen. Yeah, we use a day. company out of family company out of California. Uh, Stan, uh, Stanislaus tomatoes, uh, they're just great. Excellent. And you see we have a pesto, we have a garlic and olive oil brush, and uh, we have barbecue sauce and um, our uh, buffalo sauce, which um, we talked about this, but I mean, you don't think buffalo chicken is healthy, but I guess spicy food is a good way to get, uh, you know, make flavor go a long way without... Uh... And it kicks up the metabolism yes. a little bit. So which is the entire basis for my diet, so... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Fresh. Uh, we have fresh basil artichokes, and uh, here are our cheeses. Start with cheddar. This is our shredded uh, grande mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Uh, feta's up there. Goats back here. Uh, you have our uh, Romano cheese, grated Romano for like a Briar Hill type of pizza called the Grandma that we have, and that's another one where a little bit goes a long way. Uh, shaved Parmesan, the ricotta that you mentioned, and then the vegans right up there. And then the pepperoni. Yes. Are they the same? The what? The, the pepper? pepper yeah, we just same. needed one and two bins. It's a popular item, yes. especially with kids. Well, so let's start with, I think we're going to use, let's use the plum tomato sauce. Looks wonderful. And then we're going to add, one to the tomato, what do you want to do, the tomato basil? Uh, yeah, we'll do a margarita. Okay. Walk us through. So go there, start with the sauce. You can see a little bit goes a long way. Add the fresh basil right there. And that's a very, very healthy herb to add to the diet. I love basil, it's so delicious and so nutritious. Anything that's green and leafy 
is always healthy. I know, and I like the fact, we're not gonna put on this one, but the pesto, the olive oil, garlic, and then the minced garlic. The chopped garlic, chopped yes. Chopped garlic, garlic is so healthy for you. Mm -hmm. So it's great that you can add, you know, to your liking. Yep. Uh, cheese, are we gonna use the fresh mozzarella on we this are, one? We are, yes. I love that fresh mozzarella. And like I said, it's a healthier option because mozzarella is made with part skim milk. So mm -hmm. it's a great choice. From there, we're going to give it a little seasoning. Yeah, so we have uh, four seasonings. We have black pepper, oregano, uh, crushed red pepper, and sea salt. So if you like any of those, as a little, add a little kick to your pizza. And the thing I like that. about the sea salt is, there again, you can use less of it because it's so flavorful. So, you know, you do want to kind of watch the salt in your diet. Mm -hmm. So, and I want to comment about all the ingredients. The fact that they are so fresh and so fine, you don't use as many because they're so flavorful. So that too helps on the calorie content. Yeah, you don't need, you know, the flavor of pizza, you don't really need as much as you think you do. Just a little bit of the topping goes a long way. Yes. Okay, so on the margarita, we just, where yeah, do we Yeah, so that's a margarita, but then if you wanted to add anything, um, you know, like I said, you could either, we have nine specialty pizzas like the margarita that Vernon crafted for the menu, or you could build your own. So if you like the margarita, but you want to add chicken or a little bit of meatball to it, it becomes a build your own. So you could pretty much do whatever you want. And these are your very, very famous homemade hot peppers. In oil, yes. They're Hungarian hot peppers, and uh, we chop them and uh, season them right back there every day. And um, another, you know, you know, another topping where a little bit goes a long way. And that's important. You take fresh peppers, like you say, add a little bit of seasoning, made fresh every single day. Mm -hmm. And they are And you can see our delicious. chicken, uh, like I said, our chicken here, our white meat chicken, people really like. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have mushrooms, we have like... Yeah, two kinds of olives, jalapeno peppers, uh, caramelized onions that we make every day, diced tomatoes, uh, the crushed red pepper, uh, spinach. Dice, uh, dice tomato, like I said, that bell peppers, mushrooms, and uh, sun-dried tomatoes. And olives, again, a very nutritious choice. Your, uh, this is your bruschetta mix? Oh, yeah, yeah, these are bruschetta tomatoes. I'm sorry, those are diced, those are uh, bruschetta so, and tomatoes. And what's in your bruschetta mix? A little bit of pesto. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And our uh, red onions. And this is? And then if you want to finish off your pizza with a little bit of a uh, drizzle, we have uh, all of our sauces, again, buffalo, barbecue, olive oil, and balsamic. And that's another one where you just uh, a little bit on there. Now I'm going to. I'm standing here, and the heat from the oven is uh -huh. amazing. So. So we'll make this pizza in real time. Kevin, I'm impressed. The pizza looks fabulous. Here you are hand cutting it, which is what you do with every pizza. Four slices. And next to it, you have a baked shell, and we're going to make the LA special. So, oh, we cut the pizza crust. Perfect. I'm going to bring it over here. That pizzoot is so fine and so beautiful. Which again, from a healthy angle, if you're going to have the zoop, you want to keep it, you know, thinly sliced Absolutely. and it's fabulous. And the shaved, parmesan. the shaved Parmesan is so fresh. And there again, you don't need a whole lot because it's so rich and so flavorful. Eddie, I want to talk about the healthy drink options because even though this is a Coke freestyle machine, there are freestyle make there are some really healthy options in here that are delicious. So if you just don't want plain water, yeah. tell us. You know, if you might, there's Diet Coke, which is very healthy. No. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> on your but diet. No, as far as sodas go, though, you have all the lower count. You have Coke Zero, Diet Coke, all those. But you have a lot of other options. We have sparkling seltzer water you can get, you which have, is lemon lime. Uh, yep, light lemonade you can get. Uh, and Dasani, uh, both regular and sparkling water. 
And then you would also get your plain water here. Yes. But the Dasani flavors are excellent. Yeah. And, and if you want a higher quality bottle of water, we serve Aquapana and San Pellegrino uh, out of our, uh, our salad case over and there. And you have iced tea. We do, yeah, fresh brewed iced tea okay. every day also. And I was just yeah. going to say, you fresh brew that because yeah. that makes a big difference too. Yep. And you, Armin, if you turn a little bit to the side, this is where we come to yeah. get our, our silverware. silverware. Maybe you want a little more red pepper or Romano cheese, you could sprinkle it on lids. Everything like that. A little Fan bit of sugar for your iced tea if you want it. Fantastic. And I want to show the case over here yeah. with the fabulous salads. Talking about health and fitness, this is my favorite section, as you know. But you offer some fabulous salads. Yeah. And what do we have, Tiny? Two different sizes. Uh, we have side salads. If you just want a little one with your pizza, our chopped salad and um, a regular Caesar right here with the dressings that we talked about. Or if you want uh, more of a salad, more of a meal type of salad, we have a large chopped salad that you could uh, add, you say just add meatballs because that uh, becomes Vernon's meatball salad. We have our arugula salad that you mentioned, which is uh, the arugula fresh prosciutto and the fresh mozzarella. And uh, a chicken Caesar, which like I showed you the Caesar and then some just of our other chicken. fresh chicken breasts added to it. And important things about your salads, for example, on well, the Caesars, croutons are on the side. Right. Yeah, so so and croutons are a little higher fat, so if you don't want them, they're on the side. Dressing's on the side. Yeah. So you can put on lightly, you know, I'm notorious, I like to take the Caesar dressing, just add a drop or two of water, thin it a little bit, and it goes, you know, a long way. Yeah. Again, it's all about what people want, so yeah, so if you want, if you want it, to you have can use it. If you want a little bit, you can use it. Right. And so, and it, like I said, it gives everybody an option. Your waters are right here, yeah, too, Yeah, Pan well. and Pan well, they're pretty popular. And, um, Cell is made all one. throughout the day, right? Yeah, fresh, right back there in our kitchen. I'll prepare it every day. Eddie, we're standing in front of the, I'm going to call it the show board. Digital menu board, yes. Fantastic. So when you walk in, so take you, your time and read. So yeah, the build your own menus on the left here. Uh, every all of our toppings and then all of our specialty pizzas, salads, drinks, and meatballs are over here. And we did this because you know we don't know which toppings are going to be popular, which ones aren't. Whether we want to add some, maybe a new specialty pizza. So this makes this lets us make the change at the drop of a hat if we want to. And that's fantastic. And you know what's nice when there is a line, it gives you something to do. Yeah, and a little if preview you're, and. Right, and you can decide what you want while you're waiting. Right, and if you're not waiting and the line's moving quickly, don't worry because you don't need this. Everything is described for you as you right. go through, mm -hmm. so it's perfect. Little name tags for each topping as you go through the line, and a little form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I'm standing here with the Vernon meatball, which is three meatballs. Yeah, we're simmered uh, all day in a uh, crock pot type of thing that we have, and then with our. Uh, freshly made hot peppers and oil and fresh ricotta. And I'm holding the would-be meatball salad where you would take two of those and a little bit of sauce and add them to the salad. Fantastic. And I want to touch upon cleanliness. Cleanliness yeah. is of utmost you know, importance yeah. to you. You could, it's fantastic. We are very strict about that. Yeah, we have a very uh, strict cleaning regimen every day. And everybody's wearing gloves, mm -hmm. highest standards throughout the whole process. Yes. And uh, employees are so upbeat and enjoyable. Yeah, they They're do a so great job. Pleasant. Where are you located? We are in the shops at Boardman Park at a 439 Boardman Poland Road next to uh, the Vitamin Shop and America's Best Eyeglasses uh, right across from Dick's Sporting Goods. Easy to get to. Yep. Oh, and you can parking. dine inside or outside. I yeah, want to touch of, upon that nice because. patio seating. Yeah, which makes it fun. For at least another month or so until the snow rolls in. But yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's hope we have more than a month. Yeah. But hey, we're Youngstown, Ohio. You never know. Phone number if we want to order ahead. 330-965-4261. Uh, like, even if you have a big order, give us a call and uh, give us a little bit of notice. We'll have it ready. Okay. And are you on Facebook? Yeah, and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram under uh, just Rise Pies, R-A-S-E-P-I-E-S. -E -E okay. Right, Eddie, I wish you so much success. It's Thank been you. a phenomenal show. I'm very excited to go eat my L.A. pizza now. Without, I'll do it without the prosciutto, but I love, love, love it. Okay. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Good luck. Up. Much success. I hope we have given you an idea now of how to order a healthy pizza and you can enjoy pizza on a healthy and fit lifestyle program. I'm Mary Papino and this is Fit For You.